Okay, so uh, greetings Jaguars. My name is Aaliyah Creasy with the Office of Student Media and I'm sitting here with Ms. Latrina Collins, who is the director for the Center for Student Success. Um, so first thing I would like to talk about with you is uh, what goals and aspects are included in the Center for Student Success? Okay, so Center for Student Success is here for what our name says to make sure that our students are successful. Mm -hmm. So we want to help them with everything from navigating course selection to dealing with personal issues that may be affecting class. How do I get along with my roommate? How do I send an email or interact with my professor? Um, when they leave us, we want to know that they are able to be productive adults. A lot of students come in and they come in as freshmen and they just do what all adults say because that's kind of what they used to doing. So we want to help them find their voice and empower them with skills necessary to matriculate through. Okay. Okay. That kind of, uh, I was looking on the website and I noticed that you all have something on the website called academic empowerment. Yes. Uh, so can you just talk about that a little bit? Okay. What is academic So our empowerment? academic empowerment um, department within Center for Student Success houses our Keys to Success workshops. Mm -hmm. It has other little workshops that we're going to branch out to, mm -hmm. to include just like um, groups for freshman students coming from out of state, being able to have some other people that are from out of state so that they can kind of connect, you know, a less intimidating way to make friends and things like that. It also makes sure that they are aware of their curriculum. Mm -hmm. They understand they can follow it, they know how to pick it out so that that way if one day Ms. Collins retires I want to know that my students are able to do things and carry on themselves right right um, and you did you mentioned the uh, other programs that are going on so can you just tell me a little bit more about the programs uh, what what's all included in those programs and okay so our kids to success workshops it has uh, workshops on like study skills and time management, our traditional things. But then we have workshops that talk about how to use Google to organize your life, mm -hmm. to help them to identify how to use the Google Calendar and how to set alerts for themselves. We have things like interacting with your professor. Mm -hmm. A lot of our students are unable to communicate to their professors when they need help, they feel a little intimidated, mm -hmm. they don't know what to say. So we have things like that. Uh, another one that's really popular among students this semester is how to read your textbook because <laughs> <laughs> students come and they see this humongous book and they're told hey we're gonna cover four chapters on the first test yeah and it's like they are completely lost with how to identify what in that book mm -hmm. they need to remember and what they don't so we do things like that um, another thing we offer is learning style assessments so that we can help students to identify their learning style, which then we can connect it with how they should study, how they should take their tests, and things like that. Okay, that all, those all sound like very good aspects. Um, I was wondering as you were speaking if uh, other students, like just not just the freshmen, but uh, juniors, seniors, even in, uh, international students, um, you know, are or are those? Is that open for all of the? Yes. Students. All of the programs within Center for Student Success are open to all students. All students. The thing that we do that kind of sets us a little bit of a part when people think about first year students mm -hmm. is we do the advising for first time students. And so that students with zero to 30 credit hours, whether they be coming straight out of high school, mm -hmm. transferring from another school, or readmitting. Um, and so that's only for first time. But everything else in our department, the tutoring, the supplemental instruction, that's for all students on campus. Uh, you speak very passionately about this, so uh, I was just wondering what um, inspired you to want to be the director of the Center for Student Success? Okay, well, I like to say that I've had every job in Center for Student Success other than the administrative assistant role. When I came in uh, 2008, I was the academic counselor. And so I came in and my whole job was to identify students that were at risk or had already failed and were coming back to school on an appeal and what ways to help them matriculate and get back on track. And that's kind of where that love started because I was able to meet intimately with students and realize that a lot of them were just lost. There were things that happened, life, you know, I tell students all the time, life doesn't stop because you're in college. And so when life happened, they didn't know what to do and it's hard for someone to say well why didn't they ask for help because to ask for help you have to know number one what question to ask mm -hmm. 
then you need to know who to ask. And on our campus, that's kind of been a little confusing for certain students. What, who do I go to for this? And so my idea was to have a Center for Student Success where you can at least start with us. We may not be able to answer everything, but we can at least direct you to the right resource. So, you, so we're the first line of defense. Okay. Um, and can you tell me where the learning centers are on yes. campus? Yes, we have several with a new one coming. So we have a learning center in Stewart Hall, room 155. It will be completely um, open again in the spring. It's going, undergoing renovations right now. We have a learning center in Pinchback on the first floor. So as soon as you walk in, it's to the right. We have a new learning center coming for spring in TTL Lane on the, well, it's the second floor, but as soon as you go in. Yeah. Um, and then we will also have a writing center coming on the fourth floor of the library for the spring. So, and that's just the beginning. We got a few more coming. We're just kind of trying to spread it out around mm -hmm. campus so that wherever you are, there's some help close to you. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, I think that concludes our interview. Sounds like some really good things that okay. students should definitely look into. Yes. Um, so thank you so much for coming in with us and doing this interview. Thank you. Um, I hope you have a wonderful year. Hope the students are inspired to come check it out. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.